this lesson I will go step by step and show you how to build a nice feature slide. Ok, we did introduce us with a about us page and as you see I have changed the text from company name to about us and also I've changed this font to open some slide. Since we are already introduced let's add a new slide and we will work on a features slide. Once again I delete everything and let us prepare a headline we will use for all our slides. I copy the title slide and I make some changes. I don't want the font to be extra bold. I want it to be normal sans. This goes as well for the tagline. I'm not certain about the orange again, but for now let's stick to it. Let's make it much smaller. I'll write our, our features. I make it in the middle and these have to be much, much smaller. I make them very small. Same goes for this one by holding the shift key to maintain the proportions. And I think the headline is already done. I center the text, I grab both and I go to drawing tools, align, align center. Now I have to align those little sides. I think this way our title is done. I've made those little icons a little bit smaller because the huge ones are good for a title, but for the normal slides it's a bit too intensive. I will also make a little change. I will group them and later on we will animate it. So now let's head and start making our features. I go to insert, I select shapes and I select a line. I want a big line in the middle. I will select shape outline, the weight. I want to make it a little bit more fat. I right click on it and I go to format shape. We should edit it a little bit. All the options are already here. I changed the color of course to our lovely gray. I made the dash type for example like this. What I want to do, I want little rounded icons here on the end and on the beginning. Luckily PowerPoint has such an option and it's here. End arrow type and begin arrow type. So I can simply select the rounded icon and select it also for here. As we see the rounded icons have appeared. Now let's quickly add some horizontal lines to it because we want features to be on the left side and on the right side. I think we'll add six features. So I go once again to insert shapes and I insert a line. By holding the shift key I make it a perfect line. I make it about this size and once again I want to change the color to the recent used gray and I change the dash type to those rounded dots. I would also make the shape a little bit width for example one and a half and I think the line is ready. I copy it three times and now it looks already okay. I think it should be placed here. This should be placed in the middle and this as the last one. So let's correct that right now and we will go and add some icons. Let me quickly grab six icons and get back to you. The icons are selected. Let's start designing it for real. As we see the line is perfectly in the middle. That's good. The second line could be also a bit adjusted, but I will lower it a bit. And let's make the guidelines invisible. Now I place the icons in the right spot. The icons are in place and just as before, I want to make backgrounds for them. We could, for example, copy those backgrounds and I will do this right now. I'll copy the background, only the rounded icon. I go to drawing tools, edit shape, change shape and I want it to be a square. Ok, I copy the square six times and I begin placing them in the background of the icons. Since you already know how to do this, let's jump forward. I have colored the backgrounds, I made the icons white and now I have to add text. For that, as before, I add a text box. This will be a title and I add another text box. 
for the text. I'll copy some dummy text in a moment. I just want you to see what I do. I change again the color to our gray. And of course, I choose Open Sans. For the text, however, I wanted the lighter version of Open Sans. So I head to the font and I select Open Sans Light. I've tested the text a few times out. I made it gray and I made the font to the size of 11. Now I just have to copy it six times and we are almost done with the design of our slide. I added some dummy text and the very last step we want to take is to group everything because when we are animating it, we want to animate it in bulk. We don't want to waste too much time on it. So I just group all of them and the design of this slide is ready. As you see, we have added six features. They are looking pretty good. We have strong colors and the viewer and you as the presenter can explain each one of them separately and people will have a full focus because you can for example say our brand follows the ideas as you see on the orange square and you go on about the feature so the viewer's brain is re really focused on the colors since we are done let's animate it